We're here at the 80s in the Park Festival with Perry Wright from Shoot the Thrill, one of the top ACDC tribute bands in the country, definitely in Florida. Perry, thanks for taking the time to uh, interview with us. Uh, first question, I, I kind of helped get you started back, what was it, seven years ago? About seven years ago, yeah. You've sure. played a lot of venues since then. Oh, yeah, hundreds. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? El Paso, Texas, Speaking Rock. They okay. fly us out, treat us like real rock stars. Awesome. Pick us up, take us to the casino, put us up in a five-star hotel. Then I have to come back to the real world. <laughs> yeah, very good. And you're going back again soon? Yeah, we're going back in November. We fly Excellent. about every six months. Make sure you let us know. We'll, we'll get the word out that you're going to be down there. Do that. Living or dead, if you could jam with anybody, and I think I know the answer to this, who would it be? It would probably be ACDC. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, you get a knock on your door, and it's a singer. And he's going to sing one song for you personally, a private concert. Who is the singer and what is the song? Oh, man. I, that's, that's too tough of a question because it depends on the mood. They get harder. I have not, They get harder? <laughs> we should have had a pre-interview yeah. first. Um, I really don't know. That I'm blank. Okay. There's so many good songs. All right. Well, this one's a little harder. If your entire music collection got wiped out, which album would you replace first? The new ACDC album. I haven't heard it yet, but I anticipate it's going to be That'd be great. the first one you get. Yeah. All right. Um, living or dead, you could jam with one person. Besides ACDC, who would that one person be? I can't do this. <laughs> I don't see. I don't jam. I'm only a karaoke singer, as you know. That's jamming. That's you got jamming. a you got a band behind you. You walk up and you sing. Def Leppard was for a long time my favorite band. I probably want to jam with them. Okay. There you go. Um, singer wants to start a career singing. Young guy. What advice would you give him? <laughs> Pick another thing. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's tough, but if you love it, do it. You know, it's a, it's a lot of work. It's fun for the few minutes when you're on stage and stuff, but there's a lot more aggravation than there is bright lights. Yeah. Just in my in my experience. Yeah, you're doing the booking too, so you see yeah, the other I, side of trying to put it all together. I see both sides. And I used to work in a bar, so I see their sides too. I see where theirs is brought to profit margin and you know it's it's a tough world out there. And you yes, got it so is. many bands, it's like it's not like in, in the old days there were a few bands, now there's hundreds of bands. There you go. Now most of the guys in your band are, are roughly in our age group, except for your guitar player who just turned 21. Just turned How'd 21. you find him? Johnny's dad actually contacted us. His, well, Johnny, <laughs> okay. Johnny contacted us about five years ago when he was 15 years old, just turn, about to turn 16. And I felt kind of strange thinking, you know, this is a teenager, we're all in our 30s and 40s. I'm 56, I just turned 50, or no, I'm sorry, 55, I turned 56 in November. But uh, his dad called us and said, look, uh, I'm Pat the Plumber, I took call into 104.1, talk to the monsters all the time, and my son's name is Johnny, and he'd like to join your band. And Dave, my rhythm guitar player, happened to know who that was, and he said, this kid's awesome, we gotta try him out. We tried him out, and in the audition, he did the Angus kick all over the place and stuff, and we hired him on the spot. And we actually had a fire bass player because the bass player we had at the time said he wouldn't be in a band with a juvenile. So we said, sorry, the kid's too good. Johnny's been with us ever since. That's your second front man. That's, that's yeah, he's, uh, he's the front man. I mean, he does the complete Angus, the, the spins, does the Charlie shuffle or uh, curly shuffle and all that. He's, yeah, I couldn't ask for a better Angus. There you go. Really Last question and the hardest one. They get harder. What question would you like to answer that no one ever asked you? Yeah, you weren't kidding. These are tough questions. What question would I like to ask? How it felt to hit the lottery. <laughs> Did you hit it? <laughs> no. You said ask me the question nobody would ever ask me. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Is there anything I can think of? Thanks for putting me on. I sweated doing this interview. I got all nervous. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it's supposed to be. It's for the fans and it's yeah, natural it and it is. no this editing. Was, this was definitely candid, believe me. Yeah. Well, it was a great show and uh, we'll have some great pictures for you and we certainly thank you for taking the time to interview with us. Well, thank you much. You're Look welcome. us up at Shoot the Thrill on Facebook. We wish you the best.